The suspect was apprehended on Sunday night at a Herman Dunwich and taken to an undisclosed facility. The suspect's name has yet to be disclosed to the public, but we have learned that they are a woman in the late 30s and a resident to the area. The killer has yet to reveal her reasons for the murder, leading people to believe she is insane. Other reports speculate that she is a member of a satanic cult, but this is yet to be confirmed. The police have brought on renowned criminal psychologist Jan Lucane to assist in their inquiries. Lucane was thrust into the spotlight when he helped the police catch the Starlight Killer, who was responsible for killing his wife and young son. Please, forgive the dramatic lighting, Doctor. The brightness was beginning to hurt my eyes. Hours on end in this luminous box does take its toll. But I suppose that was the point. And you managed to convince them otherwise how? Information, Doctor. It's quite simple, actually. Give a few names and I get more comfortable. Something tells me there may be a catch there. Shall we begin? This is Dr. Jan Lucane, recording day four of interviews with... With me as the patient. Prisoner. The prisoner who refuses to give their name. For the purpose of these interviews, we'll be calling a Prisoner A. Why don't we do things a little differently today, Doctor? Well, we've been here for three days now and neither of us has really got to the point. I know why you're here. You know why you're here. So why don't you just ask the question? During the initial hours of your interrogation, you claimed that the people you killed were not victims. You claimed they were the guilty. You called them the punished. What did you mean by that? That wasn't the question I was expecting. But it deserves an answer nonetheless. Charles Dinran, December the 17th, 1977. One of the coldest Christmas holidays we'd had in years. I remember it well. I was worried I wasn't going to make it to that appointment, as my car had frozen over. He was the first to be punished. I didn't choose him. 
He was chosen for me. I followed him back from his church that night. The snow was so fresh and crunchy. He had no idea I was behind him. Even as I put my knife to his throat, he never even saw it coming. People thought that killing a priest was a statement, Doctor. Satan made me do it. I can assure you the devil had no part in any of this. People read the newspapers and believe anything that's forced down their throats. The guilty deserve punishment. Only the truth reveals the chosen. I thought the point of our discussions was to prove your sanity. Now you're going to tell me God told you to do this? That won't look good on your case, you know. God? I didn't say anything about God. Following dinner and that night was the first time I'd even been near a church in years. Sorry, Doctor. We can't blame this one on God either. That would be insane. Here. Yeah. Again, you say your victims were chosen. Chosen by who, if not some higher power that you believe in? The victims of the punished choose them. Look, there's no point blaming this on ghosts either. God, the devil, I don't believe in any of it. So if we can just stick with the truth, then I can try my best to get you the justice you deserve. They spoke to me. They speak to me. I hear them all the time. The grocer that used to own the shop at the end of my street. I had to stop going in there. He was constantly telling me that the new owners were stacking the shelves wrong. Miserable old sod. Even when he was alive. In the park, a man who drowned in the lake. He just sits there on a park bench. I go there to listen to what he has to say, but all he ever says is, I can't swim. Have you seen my clothes? A woman who sits outside the hospital looking for her husband. Every day she would ask me where he was as I passed her on my way to work. Every day I would have to tell her the same thing. I don't know your husband. Okay, Leave go, me alone, down. please. We're but okay every here. day it was the same thing. There's no need to get upset. And over. Just calm the down. The feeling of death and pain became too much. I had to try and block it out. But I couldn't. I couldn't. Until your son told me how. Charlie was the one who showed me what mattered, Doctor. Leave it! Right. I think it's time we took a break. I'll be a few minutes. I suggest you calm down. This little chat is over. Who's there? <laughs> Who is there?
Who's up there? People have to know the truth. They have to know why the Chosen are dead. I'm not insane. I'm not a criminal. You think you're here to help me, Doctor, but I am here to help you. Charlie helped me find you. He is the reason I asked for you. Very clever. But I'm not falling for that trick. Using my son as an excuse for your delusion is weak. You probably got that name from reading it in the newspaper. No, we both know that isn't true. You asked that your wife and son's name be kept out of the papers. You were afraid that Jean's mother would get the news before you had a chance to let her know. So you agreed to help on the case to put your grief aside if they wouldn't name who was involved. That telephone call was the hardest thing you had to do. Of course, the three glasses of straight up whiskey you had beforehand helped make it easier. And who could blame you? Finding out your wife and your son had been killed I'm not trying to hurt you, Doctor. I'm just doing what I've been asked to do. Enough! Fucking psychic now as well, are we? Jean and Charlie told me. They were there when you made the call. They have never left your side. They're here now. I'm assigning you a new doctor. Effective immediately. You can't do that. I can do anything I want. I'm the chief psychologist of this hospital. Assigned at your request. The only reason why I'm here is because you asked for me. And so far all you've given me is crap. That's not true. I have told you exactly what you need to hear. You keep this story up, and they will lock you up forever. Good luck, patient A. It won't be the first time an innocent person has been arrested when you've been involved, Doctor. The man who was caught and sentenced to life in prison for the murders of your wife and son was innocent. Everything I've done has been for you, Doctor. We all have our purpose. I have mine and you have yours. Now please, sit down and we can continue. This is Dr. Jan McCain, resuming day four interview with patient A. Please, call me Grace. 